Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. Each one of us have certain little pitfalls in our life that we want to overcome, and many times we are looking at others is the reason that we have these challenges and problems, especially in relationships when we're married to someone or we're dating someone, or even if we're in close relationships with our children. Many times we lash out at those people because they irritate us, they bother us, they're causing us concern, or they're just not compatible with us. One of the things I want you to be aware of in our growth here on planet Earth as we move through this life, I believe one of the prime directives that we must have in a spiritual sense and also just a simple growth sense is to overcome our own frailties as much as possible and to learn by those. One of the things I notice that many people do, in fact I've been known to do the same thing, is always blame someone else for your own misery. And I've had to learn myself that usually I'm the reason for most of it. And it's usually in the way I'm looking at the way people talk to me or the way they say things to me or my own perception of what they say, understanding that each one of us have our complex equivalency of how we understand the world. I heard it put very well by a young man that you can search on the internet. His name's David Wilcox. He's very brilliant. He's a somewhat physicist and he's looking at a lot of the things going on with earth changes and the 212 prophecies. But one of the things he said is our primary work, and I really respect this and I agree with this, is if you're moving through life and somebody upsets you or has you in a state of discombobulation, so to speak, unhappy, that doesn't necessarily mean something's wrong with that person. It means you just have more work to do on yourself. The idea is for all of us to be in a state of peace. And if we're not in a state of peace where other things external of us bother us, all that means is we have more work to do on ourselves. We ought to be able to stand where it is completely chaotic and be peaceful or around anyone, no matter who they are, and be peaceful. And if we're bothered by those external sources, whether it's people, places, or things, and it's concerning us, that means we have more work to do on ourselves. Today, I want you to think about that. Ask yourself, are you around people who irritate you and it seems to put you into a ballistic sense or almost a lightning rod to your bad feelings or the way you feel about things? And if you're not around that person, then everything's okay. Does that mean there's something wrong with the relationship? It could be. It also means there is something inside of you that can change. Now, I don't think it's necessary for all of us to go for perfection here. I think we just gotta work at getting better at it. I know I've been working on that my whole life, and I pretty much can be peaceful around anyone or anything now. However, there's still some things out there that can get to me. So none of us are perfect. I want you to really work on those lightning rods for you and really learn how to ground yourself in the moment in yourself by forgiving yourself, by forgiving your behaviors, by forgiving who you are and forgiving your imperfections and have tolerance for the people around you. And if they keep giving you a charge, all that means is you got some work to do on yourself. Until tomorrow, this is Dr. Gary asking you to have a very peaceful filled day. Until then, bye-bye.